Last night, FBI agents in Albany, New York, arrested two men on the basis of warrants issued on a criminal complaint filed in federal court in Albany. Those men have been identified as 34-year-old Yassin Muhyiddin Aref and 49-year-old Mohammed Musharraf Hossein. Aref is the imam of the Masjid As Salam Mosque in Albany, and Hossein is the founder of that mosque. Sometime in the spring or summer of 2003, FBI Special Agent Tim Cole asked an informant named Malik to go undercover in a sting operation to get evidence against Yassin Aref, an imam at a local Albany, New York mosque. The FBI had been watching Yassin Aref since 2001 and claimed to have information that he supported terrorist groups. They are not terrorists. They had no, no criminal record. record. Uh, they had uh, no interest uh, of any violation of laws or are so. Simply, they were tricked. Can you explain to me uh, why legally this is not entrapment? Well, I would expect in a case like this, any case involving a sting, and I've tried some myself, entrapment is a defense. And so the question the jury has to answer is, was the defendant sort of dragged into the criminal activity to which he was not predisposed by the government essentially overbearing his will? It's not enough to go after people who have committed crimes. We have to go after people who haven't committed crimes because you want to prevent the next terrorist attack from occurring. So how do you go after people who haven't committed crimes? Well, you focus on people who fit the stereotypes, who fit the profile, and then you uh, send informants into their groups. Then you uh, uh, lay out entrapment schemes. Then you uh, enforce immigration laws against them harshly. If these individuals had come into contact with the appropriate you know, terrorists or people with the bent to do that in this country today, we'd have had a missile attack in New York City. The argument, There's no question about that. The argument, they assisted in that and they participated in that. Yeah. Now, what would you have us do? Sit on our hands? The FBI invested a lot of time and energy and money into an elaborate sting operation. They were going to pursue it simply out of the force of what they've already done. One thing promotes the next. At the press conference at the federal building in Albany after the sentencing, the FBI presented the reasons why they had targeted Yassin Aref. Based on notebooks found in random locations by U.S. military in northern Iraq between 2001 and 2003, associations with men classified as known terrorists and his own writings, the FBI and the Justice Department believed that there was reason to assume that he was sympathetic to terrorists and their causes. In 2006, after a six-week trial based on the initial charges, Mohammed Hossein was convicted of all 27 counts. Ultimately, Yassin was acquitted of 20 of the 30 original counts and was only convicted of charges stemming from the last two meeting dates after the June 10th meeting and one of the false statement counts. These convictions apparently originated from the jury's belief that by the June 10th meeting, Yassin understood the meaning of the code word Chaudhry. Well, why do you think the jury was already predisposed? Because of comments that the judge made at the opening day of trial. Look at this targeting instruction. That reversed the burden of proof, and so that was an error, and that means we have to have a new trial because it's, you're not, the judge is not supposed to tell the jury that there were good reasons for going after this guy. A lot of the committee thought, you know, 10 children of Muslim families who are going to think that every non-Muslim person in the United States hates them. 